Good morning. It is almost six o'clock. I am late. I got to get out of here. Today we're just going back to finish setting up the driveway that we didn't finish yesterday. We're going to clean the yard and kind of tidy up. So I'm going to take this trash out, grab some coffee. Let's get to work. All right, you guys, I just put my boots on and I realized that they are dropping a whole bunch of dirt and mud off of them. The garbage is right inside. So today I'm not going to find out how much garbage we make. And my wife's not going to be happy that I didn't take the garbage out, but she would be even more unhappy if she sees mud on her floor. So let's go to work. I don't know where Scott is today. He's hiding. Scott is hiding from me. There he is. Morning, Scott. Morning, guy. How's everything today? Going well. Have a great day. You're doing too, guys. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm sleeping on my feet, but we'll get there. <laughs> yep, you too. All right, it's 618, just pulling into the yard. Probably going to be the first one here again. More than Daryl's here. Man, Daryl beat me to work? <sighs> I hope he keeps it up. But so far, very proud of him. My pickup's just been sitting. I've been driving this thing. This Crown Vic. I gotta get that in for detailing and uh, get some service work done on it soon. You beat me here. By two minutes. Oh. 6.24. Somebody's pulling in. Francisco. It's hard to tell Francisco and Marcel have almost the same kind of van. Everybody's doing good showing up so far. I like it. All right, Marcel just showed up. We're all sitting in our vehicles because we're all a little early. And honestly, I am tired. Oh, I am tired. And it's raining a little bit, so that doesn't help. But we don't have a whole lot of work to do today anyway. It'll be a good day. And then tomorrow we're going to get to pour some more concrete. Awesome. I guess I'll start the parade. Time to go to work. Let's do it. Morning. Smoking's bad for your lungs. I know, you need to. What are you watching, YouTube videos? Uh, no, TikTok. So we moved the nest from the Mac to Bobby's van. Figure she didn't like it there, so we moved it over here. And guess who's back? Look at. Guess who's back? Good morning. She likes this spot. She does. Look at it. It's all covered up. See, she sees me though. She's gonna fly away. She doesn't. She's camera shy. I think so. Good morning. Good morning. She's doing just fine. I know a lot of people were real concerned about our, our dove, <laughs> but she's good. She's good. We're not doing anything today. We're just gonna stand here with our hands in our pockets. <laughs> that would be a really long day if we just stood here and talked all day. It would be lunchtime. We'd be so bored. We'd be like, oh. It'd be terrible. It would be terrible. Uh, Eric's not coming this morning. He had a doctor's appointment. So it's just us four. Hey, Francisco, last night I found the clip of Daryl. At least he did. Yeah. <laughs> I brought my whole family in the basement and I played it like 
several times and then in slow <laughs> and then in slow motion and you could just see it's like <laughs> and then they fly up in the air and then they fly up they came right at me <laughs> they came right at me so the next if you play like frame by frame yeah. you see the teeth coming like this right at the camera <laughs> i can't remember if it went over his head no i can't it came right like this and then i stepped back so they didn't hit me <laughs> Why did you catch him? <laughs> he went down like, oh, he's not going to do that. <laughs> I wanted to see it. So my whole family's down. We were, we were roaring for yeah. five minutes, man. <laughs> we were roaring. That's my wife. wife was crying. That's what I was about it. She was laughing. <laughs> Morning, Don. Hey, we need to talk, man. You've been causing trouble for me. All right, we just got here. It started to rain a little bit. It was raining heavier on the way here. I hope it gives us some time to uh, quickly finish up setting up this driveway and uh, be able to get out of here without getting too soaked. We don't really have much work to do here. We should be out of here in about an hour. And really all we have left is to dig out this bottom of the driveway, set the forms, grade it, and then we'll get out of here. We're gonna pour this tomorrow. And then after, I haven't told the guys this yet, but after we pour this driveway, I wanna do a barbecue for them. No. Okay. No, we talked about that, remember? Um, I guess I don't, but that's on me. Um, in that case, let's see. No, we didn't. That, that little trip step was no good. You can't have a step this big. You, okay. And I don't know why you'd want a step there. No, no, I would want to set. I just want to make sure I understood. Because yeah, no, it's going to be smooth now. What I was thinking was having a curved step here. Yeah, you can't put a step there. But since I don't have a step here, I just think I want like this straight. You want it square? square. Like this corner? Yes. Like instead of this curve? Yes. That's no problem. We could do that for you. Oh, good. I thought no problem. I of course. Yeah, because I'm course. thinking, you know, this is like a double curve and it's like, eh, I don't think I like that. Yeah, that's okay. So if it just comes straight up. You want it straight all the way back there or do you want it straight from here? Probably from here. You just want more planter area here? Right. Okay. Right. Did just, you... It's what me and my angles. Okay. Just having a straight angle come here. That's no problem at all. Did you see this? Ta-da! That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Doesn't hit the wall anymore. You know what? I, I I'm sorry. I just you probably didn't even notice that, did you? I noticed that you okay. did a fantastic job. Yeah, we moved it back, so you actually have clearance now. The door opens. That is so awesome. And now you won't have that, that awesome? and you won't have that little trip step. And so, remember I told you I set up the steps so yes. you'll have a perfect step. Yeah. So the water now is gonna go like this, and it's gonna go like this, all the way down to the road. There's gonna be no puddles or nothing here. I love you. Why don't you pull up a little bit? Yeah, so I can dig right here without getting around the gravel. If you pull up a little, you'll have clearance anyway. All right, I'm gonna dig this out quick and set these few forms. Are you gonna dig that out or are you gonna make me do everything? I'll dig it out. Okay. What are you doing, are you doing that? Yeah. She wants it straight? Yeah, she didn't like the curve. She wanted the square. She's a designer though, she knows better than us. That's bad, it's May, it's just about May and we gotta let the glow plugs warm up. Don't get too carried away by the curb because there's going to be street light cable here somewhere.
have some pins and we're gonna put boards here, like 10 footers. You just gonna watch? Come on. Some people been saying that I'm a mean boss. They are? Yeah, I don't treat Daryl properly. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, right? Hey, I should go make some videos of some actual mean bosses so yeah. they know what a mean boss is. Some screamers. <laughs> because I had a mean boss when I was young. Two by four. Two by four. Yep. I had a mean boss. A mean boss. He used to scream. Is we got a set of inside board too for a curb, okay. like across the street. Use a handsaw and cut this off right here. And then that's our line. Oh wow, we gotta dig. Right. We're gonna have to dig more of this out. Yeah. Don, you're causing me trouble. I'm just letting you know. I just put you up here just to be funny, it was kind of a joke. Now people are unsubscribing, they're unfollowing, writing me nasty messages, calling me names. I gotta get back to work, man. Daryl, come a little closer. I'm gonna pull a truck over here so we don't have to clean the road all the way to the truck. I'm gonna leave and go get my pickup and go to Lincoln and get a new compactor. Get this cleaned up, make sure you caution tape the end of the driveway, and then go back to the yard, take the salter off the white truck. That metal stand, that big steel stand, you know what I'm talking about? The salter goes on there and it goes way in the back corner by the power pole. So I'll meet you guys back at the yard. All right, I'm at Lincoln Contractor Supply. I'm gonna pick up a new compactor. I've done a lot of business here with these guys through the years. Pretty good place. They have a good... Oh, they're getting a new parking lot. They have a good selection of rental tools. And then they have a pretty good store stocked up with just about everything you need. A lot of concrete tools as well. How you doing? How's it going? Do you know the prices on this stuff? Do you know the prices on this stuff? No, not really, but we can try and find out for you. I think they're about twenty-one hundred for the ones with the water tanks. And yeah. Without without our tanks, about a hundred bucks less, I think. Twenty-one oh five. Okay. Zero cents. Is there any kind of discount for a really good, nice guy? Oh, you have to check with our normal sales guy for you. I don't know who that is, but we'll see if we can get you Jared or Steve or. Looking to buy a 1550 plate, all right? The one with the water tank? Yeah, what's the best you can do on that? The very, very best. 
What about a strike off machine, a vibrating strike off machine? Like I just bought one here. Did you? Okay. Like two weeks ago. All right. Yeah. I haven't seen that in your videos yet. Oh, you watch the videos? <laughs> no, it's brand new in my this shed. This guy's using two by four still. You know? I'm like, yeah, all right. That's well, good. yeah, I bought the uh, the MBW with the Milwaukee battery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a oh. 14 foot pan. And actually, could you check if my four foot pan came in? Because they were getting one here for me. Twenty one oh five for that place. I think you told me it was less. I said twenty one oh five. That's where we were sitting at. That's the best you can do. That's the best I can do right oh, now. Ay ay ay. And we were lucky to get those in. Yep. I mean, last summer and through winter. So I'm lucky. Relatively. Is that going to do it for you? Yeah. 27, 65, 75. Oh, you're going to need both pieces. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I use it a lot. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, man. And then if you want to pull around to service, yes. the overhang the man door and they'll load you up right back there. Wow, look at that contraption. That's nice. It's a bag saver. It sure is. Man, that thing is nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. That's it. Yep. All right, I'll yeah. see you guys All later. Right, Thank you. Good luck. All right, I'm pulling back into the yard. Looks like the guy's got the salter off my dually, so that's good. I got the new compactor in the back of the truck. Francisco is, I don't know what he's doing. You guys have been tidying up the yard. Things just get disorganized pretty quick when you're busy, obviously. And that's okay, you just can't let it get out of hand. Once it gets out of hand, you start losing stuff. But things are going to get messy once in a while. I'm not a neat freak, although I don't like to let things get to the point where you're so disorganized you become inefficient because you can't find stuff. You didn't break anything? You didn't drop it, right? Just off the wood on the bottom. No way. Yeah, the, I got to replace the wood pieces. What wood pieces? The wood ones right there. Straight down on the seat. Wait a second, you can't just say that and act like nothing happened. What happened? The, I had the torque tip. The salter fell off onto the when ground? I was just off the truck, but when I was going to put it on the table, it came down. So it smashed onto the table and broke the wood? No, it didn't smash on the table, it smashed on the ground. Oh, it smashed on the ground. Gotcha. Okay, that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right on my truck, Marcel. Look. You know what? Look for bugs. Brand new. I'm gonna get his name on here though. I'll get a decal made. Well, you should put my name on there for temporary <laughs> until bugs comes back. <laughs> Yeah. You going to the car wash? No. Uh, yeah. Oh, move your hand out there. So you can take your That's in, uh, yep. I think it takes fives. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure. The machine. All right, Eric was at the doctor. We've been cleaning the yard. He's on his way in. I'm going to take all the guys to lunch today. There he is. Did you really go to the doctor? Or did you have a job interview? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Come on. I see you did your hair all nice. Why would you do that to go to the doctor? We're just finishing up. Daryl should be. I'm going to call Daryl. He should be back soon. He was dumping a load. We're going we're to go eat here in a minute. Look at brand new compactor. $2,100. All for bugs. Is there stuff in the back that shouldn't be in there that I could put yeah, somewhere else? Your clothes. All right, I can grab some of that out of there. Try to keep it clean back there as much as possible anyway. This, oh, get the grease gun out of here for sure. Holy smokes. That could have been a mess. Yeah. That had to have been Daryl. Yeah, he, I just asked him to bring Dude, it Dude, who puts a grease gun on a cloth seat? Yeah. 
when we had a pickup truck. And then the other day he threw, I for, oh, he threw the jackhammer on my front seat, what? which was greasy and dirty. Yeah, that's what... Was that the, was that on the truck or in the truck? Yeah, in the truck. Oh, that's because I think, I think it, I know it shot, that's why. This was a truck star by buyers. Man, I've had bad luck with those. Really bad luck. Some of those lights are so expensive, they last like two years and they start to glitch out. If any of you guys know of beacon lights that last for a long time, let me know, because I have never had good luck with those things. And I don't buy the cheap ones. Not the cheapest ones, anyway. That's a large? Yeah, yeah. Take a whole bundle of them. We'll just take a couple of them for now. I gotta order some more. Me too. Yeah. Hey, I got this for Junior. Did you see oh, yeah, that? Yeah, I see the video. So when he's sure. leaning on the on the fender, he can at least control the traffic. Put it in the truck. <laughs> yeah, we need it. You give it to him in the morning. It is cold, windy, rainy. Not a nice day. Again, <laughs> again. It's gonna get better. It can't get worse. So we just have to wait it out. If you want, I'll take your vehicles because we're going to be done. Okay. You know where it is? No, I just follow you guys. I'm going to lock this, yeah. I don't follow you guys. Alright. We won't lose you. No. <laughs> it's hard to lose that truck. Alright, we're at the Odyssey Family Restaurant. Probably my second favorite restaurant besides 52's. I thought I'd take the guys for a nice sit-down lunch. I don't think Daryl's here yet, though. I don't see Daryl yet. Should be honest. Should be on his way. Hello. Hi. Five. We have one more coming. Yes. There he is. I hope that's not a ticket. Better not. Oh, good. It's like you got it here. sign it. Tomorrow after we pour that driveway. I'm cutting the joints. You're not cutting the joints. Yeah. Absolutely I'm not. We're cutting joints. Let me cut joints. We're both. Joints. Never ever. Why? Because they have to be straight, Daryl. You don't think I can do it straight? No, I don't. No. no. Trust no. me. No. At least let me try. We're okay. I gotta be better than Eric. Daryl told. Daryl told me that he dropped the salter. I wish I would have got that on video. You probably do. I gave you one thing to do: take the salter off and you drop it on the ground. You probably do have it. Oh, always got something to eat. Oh yeah, I have the I have the security cameras. Oh yeah, you got the cameras. I do. You got me like. <laughs> Not the way you do it, Daryl. Oh my goodness. Oh. I can't even believe what I just saw. That is unbelievable. Hey, I seen that <laughs> also. When, when, when I saw you doing that, huh? like, he probably did something. Oh my. <laughs> but I mean, oh, every day. <laughs> every day it's something. It's not something. Yeah. Tomorrow after, we, tomorrow after we pour that driveway, I want to fuel everything up. So we're good to go for next week. And then uh, I want to grill out. I got that little grill in the shed. Still got the, that one? Yeah, brand new one. Does anybody want to bring anything? I'll bring, I'll bring the meat out. meat and buns or whatever we're going to have. I'll bring some, I'll bring some Mexican steaks. Alright. Chips, I'll bring chips, whatever you guys want. Okay. That's all you're offering, Eric? Chips? I'll bring the condiments. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you just came back and all he offers is chips. chips. I got the condiments. Yes. <laughs> I'll bring ketchup. And he brings, <laughs> and then he, he brings packets that he stole from the gas station. Oh, is that my answer right now? From up here. I don't know how to grill, man. Bugs would always grill. Bugs used to do that. Yeah, those were good.
Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yep. See you guys. Yep. Adios. Thank you. Seventy-nine twenty-seven. See you later.